All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, continue where I left off regarding the digital bunny clock. Okay, so it's going to be pretty much the same thing how I discussed in class last week, Thursday. All right, so everything's set up. And from here, I'm going to create polygon primitives, a cube, press F to zoom in on it. And uh, I want to place my markers to, the, the, uh, to divide it up under subdivisions with height and depth, put two. Okay. Press spacebar, go in here, press spacebar. Oh, it's kind of hidden. Um, right, and you see how it's hidden? So from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna chuck it over here, towards my left. Once I do that, my front facing area, camera, it's, uh, this is the equivalent because if I um, yeah anyway that's the equivalent that way I, I get to still see it now see it's not blocked anymore whereas before it was so before it's blocking shove it over here now it's not blocking so you can see it now I'm gonna lock it back up now I'm gonna grab him and um, I'm gonna press DS and David once. I'm gonna tap tap it this once. Because DS and David will activate my move pivot anchor point, so that I can move, so that I can move my anchor point here if I want. Anyway, from here I'm gonna press VS and Victor, and I'm gonna hold it down. Once I do that, I'm gonna snap it down. I'm still holding V as in Victor, and I carefully grabbed it by my arrow, see? That arrow. Let go of it, press W. Now I'm going to pull it up with my up arrow. And here, under Y, it says 0 0.499, I'm going to just type in 0 0.5. Perfectly aligned with my <coughs> spatial grid system. Because the this floor is my literal gonna be my ground floor. Anyway, space bar into here. I'm gonna chuck this up. Press R, scale it all up to here. And from here, I'm gonna press four. You see wireframe. I'm gonna, uh, since I'm in R for uh, uh, scaling, the red one right here, you see that red one? I'm gonna pull like that. Press five, and I'm gonna press spacebar, spacebar into here, press four, and it's okay if it's a little bit off, this is fine. I'm gonna, uh, on this red uh, blue one see how it's how this blue square goes across to here in the middle ignore that this blue one pull it pull it right there perfect and it's okay if it's uh, doing some of this and that so it's gonna work itself out all right I'm gonna name it Um, I'm going to name it Digital Bunny Clock. Digital Bunny Clock. Okay. And then from there, what I'm going to do is. Alright, so I have to stop the video for a bit.
what I'm going to do is uh, I'm in object mode. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to right click on my mouse and hold it. And I'm going to go to edges, edges mode. I'm going to over here at this edge, double click. I want that specific edge. I'm going to get this edge. So I'm going to hold down shift. As you can see, it's turning into a plus sign. Double click on that. Over here, double click. Over here, double click. And then I need double click that. I'm gonna press Q because this is annoying me. Double click. 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 All right, let me hide the grid for a bit, right here, this grid. So this is uh, what I just did, All right? I only grab the specific edges that I need, only the specific edges that I need, because I'm going to create these bevels, 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 right? So I'm gonna go, hold on, shift, Hold it down, also hold on my right mouse button, and bevel edge, bevel, bevel, bevel edge. All right. Now, the settings that I want. Get over here. And zoom in. Now, the setting is, I uh, click on the inputs, right? I'm not, I don't need to click on it, but under the inputs, there's going to be a poly bevel one. Okay. You click on that. Then there's going to be a uh, fractions. Uh, I'm going to dial in say uh, 0.4 and my segments to four. Okay. This in this. I'm going to put this under the notes uh, for it. So grab that. I'm going to yank on that this down here to make it bigger for you guys. Fractions. Point four, all right, and my segments to four. So when I do this, if I make it higher fraction level, like say point seven, you see how broad it gets, right? But if I do say point one, see how tight it gets, right? If I do say point four like I said boom I think these this seems to be just the right amount right press three if I press three in here uh, it smooths it so uh, yeah one for the low poly cage three to smooth it okay so I like that yeah okay so from here if you want, you could experiment poly bevel. You could put 0.5 if you want, right? If you want, whatever you find comfortable with. But between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5, I think, is right. Uh, from here, I want to put in my uh, the, this hole. Okay, I want to put in that hole. But before that, before putting that hole, let's block out its pegs. It's uh, cute little pegs. Okay, so what are the pegs made out of? Well, they're made out of uh, cylinders where the cylinder tapers in at the ends. So uh, I'm going to do Alt 5, wire frame unsheeted. And this time around, I might want to bring back my grid. Click it, bring it back. I'm going to go to create polygon primitives. The cylinder, there's my cylinder. Press F to frame on it. Press W to get my uh, controller on it. And I want to put the pivot point at the bottom, like the like how I did for him. 
spacebar, spacebar, zoom in. I'm in my side view. And I'm gonna press D as David as once. Like I said, press uh, click D, uh, D as in David once. Click on it once. Activates the move pivot tool. Okay, and then I'm gonna press and hold V as in Victor. I'm gonna press and hold V as in Victor. Okay, only V as in Victor, I'm gonna press and hold. And this up and down arrow, right? Uh, if you don't have it, it was W, okay? And then I'm gonna click down, right? You grab it from its tip, the arrow tip. Let go, press W to get out of it. Yank it up, align it, right? And uh, should be translate Y should be one. Okay, so I did that. Now I'm going to press R and press five. And from the center, right here, the center cube. Pull, 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 pull. Then I'm going to um, press W, pull, yank it over here. Press 4. Alright. Maybe press R again. Maybe taper it some more. Like that. So, that should be just about right. But if you look at it in a 3D world, in real time 3D world, I'm gonna click outside of it. I don't I won't get rid of that grid right now, I'm gonna hide it, that grid. So it's it's really puny looking, right? So you have to use your artistic judgment and uh, kind of gauge things. I think it's kind of puny. Whereas in the uh Photo references, they're small, right? But they're not puny. They're like cute and stubby little legs, right? Whereas this is really just puny. But uh, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go shift, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go hold on the right mouse button and go to edges mode, right? I hover over my object. Right click on it, go to edges mode. Zoom in, double click on that edge. Press 4 so you guys can see what I just did. Again, double click. Right? You see what I just did right there? If I hover over another object, it's going to activate its component mode as well. So you want to be careful. I have it selected. You see how I did my flickering? Well, I just did hold down the right mouse button, object mode. Hold, hold down the right mouse button, edge mode. Hold down the right mouse button, vertex mode. Hold down the right mouse button, go back to edges mode. Just want to show that real quick. Um, anyway, double click on that. Press uh, R, right? And uh, what I wanted to do was it's 4. Right, I'm going to zoom in here. Okay. Right, so I'm looking at the top view from here. I'm going to constrain scale it. Right, so if you look at here. Right, if you look at here. And that's here. Okay, right here. My side view. See the side view? But from my 3D world view perspective. Uh, worst case scenario, if you do not see this, I repeat, if you do not see this, panels, perspective, perspective. If, you, if this is not on perspective camera. If this is not on side camera, panels, orthographic, side. Or if this says side, but the, uh, the, the shot view is different, it could be because of this. If you have accidentally clicked on these guys, see, now you're looking from the top view, but it still says side. This is just to quickly manipulate the camera orthographically. I see seen several of you that had that situ situation and, you know, so I just want to point that out. Anyway, here I am, perspective, 
from bottom looking up right and I'm going to do a constrained scale meaning I only want the width going left to right and forward and back the width to scale so you see this purple you see that right there not purple but green that one right here that's my constraint scale if I pull on that watch see see what's doing I can taper it out like so okay and so I'm gonna undo that for a moment a student asked how do I know which constraint scale tool these floating squares should I use well if I pull on him no that ain't gonna work if I pull on him right here this guy right there right here that's not gonna work but if I pull on him that's gonna work okay um, from here to there I did that press 5 okay and then spacebar, flick it to go to object mode, right? Flick it, hold on right mouse button, object mode. Now, I'm looking like this. Do I like this? And it's starting to get better. And I'm going to do in here. I'm going to pull it over here. I'm in my front view, okay? Make sure this is front. See? This is front. Click outside for a bit. How do I like this? Well, I think the bottom could be tapered out some more. Just visually. So I'm going to select it. Spacebar. Spacebar into my perspective. Zoom in a bit. I'm going to go hold on my right mouse button while I'm hovering over this peg. Edges, I'm gonna double click on that. Just this edge. Uh, right, press R uh, to go to scale. I'm gonna constrain scale it outward. I'm looking for this guy right here. You see that? Anything that's between my X scale and my Z scale, which Z is blue, X is red scale, right here, this guy right there. Right. I'm looking at it, right? Um, zoom in a bit, grab that, hold on right mouse button, go to edge, double click on, double click on that edge carefully, just uh, carefully. You have to be really careful about it. I'm going to constrain scale it back out. I mean, some more. You see that right here? This guy? Right? This guy? Pull. Something like that. And then select him. Right click and hold. Go to edge. Double click. Right? And I'm going to just look underneath a bit. Find my correct constraint scale. This guy, pull a bit. All right. Then I want it to be a little bit taller. So what I could do is I'm gonna just uh, go to vertex mode. Actually. Hmm. I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pull on the scale. Press R, right? You see the green one right there? The green one? And, the, and you'll see it's line going down. Well, pull. Press 4. Space bar, space bar into here. Press 4. I'm gonna pull. I know that's going through the geometry, right? I'm pulling up on my scale. But it's okay. That's five. Get out of it. Grab my main uh, body for the digital 
clock bunny. W, press W. Yank on the up arrow. I'm in my front. Could be you could be in the side as well, it doesn't matter. But one of those orthographics right there. Like that. Space bar, space bar, plus five, zoom out. Alt five. So that I, I don't have wireframe like she did. Alright, I'm I'm happy with this. Okay. So as you can see, it's here and here, and everything is more or less aligned. Just like that. Uh, I'm gonna add a tight little bevel on the on its ground floor. And I'm looking here. Right, okay, press F to zoom in on that. So right click, go to edges. All right, all right. So it's already running. Um, you know what? Let me finish this off. Double click on that edge. I'm gonna go hold on Shift, right click. So I hold on Shift, hold on the right mouse button. Bevel edge. And that's way too much. Set my fraction to like say 0.4, uh, 0.1. Like 0.1. Right, set my segments to say like 2. I got a cute little beveling. Maybe I'll set my segment uh, fractions to say uh, 0.15. No, point, no, no, point 0.2. No, 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 0 0.05, so I get a tight one. Maybe 0 0.075, yeah. Yeah, I want, yeah, yeah, 0 0.075. I'm doing this because I want the, the beveling to show. That's the reason why. Segments, I want my segments at Two. We'll try three. Oh, yeah, you know what? we could do that three. So fraction point zero seven five, segments at three. Ignore everything else. Oh, by the way, one more thing. Let's say I click outside, right? Or let's say I press W and I lose that fraction. That if I I lose that beveling uh, option window, right, and I want it back, what do I do? Well, you can go click this right here. This weird looking thing will bring it back. That's specifically for this guy. Or, and I also believe other uh, floating pop-up menus that have to do with uh, polygonal modeling, like the extrude. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that, this guy right here. And double click on my uh, poly cylinder one, the peg. I'm gonna name it, uh, uh, peg leg zero one. All right, 